Braille CDI and this morning we're going to have a quick look at the Braille Sense Polaris which is a Braille note taker. Just to give you a brief history of the Braille Sense Suite. Initially we had the Braille U2 note taker. The device we have here this morning with us is the Braille Sense Polaris and the Braille Sense Polaris has been recently updated to the Braille Sense 6. So again, obviously, one one of these devices is an upgrade on the other, and I suppose a description of the Braille Sense capability would be, I mean, for example, on these devices, you have a file manager which enables you to move from, you know, pin removable drives to a hard drive. You can change your folders, create folders, swap your files around. You can create your Word documents. You can create your note documents. You can do your emails. You can use various um, web options, which essentially would be different options that the device gives you to access web pages and to go onto the internet, to quick web, Google searches, etc. You have a social media section, which allows you to access social media. You have media controls. You have utilities, which would be, you know, would allow you, for example, connect to external devices. You have extras such as calculators and stopwatches. You have you have your settings option here, which allows you to change the various settings on the device. And again, the menu structures are quite similar on these devices, from you know from device to device, i.e., from the Braille Sense YouTube to the Braille Sense Polaris to uh, more recently the Braille Sense Six. And again, if I could just give you a quick outline or a quick description of the physical layout of the machine, and I suppose some of the main buttons are the main ports on this device that we would be concerned with as Braille users would be right here at the very back of the machine we have the power port now again obviously that just gives us direct power from a power source like a socket but it also allows us to charge the internal battery on the on all of these devices again on this Braille says Polaris we have two physical volume buttons over here on the, the left edge, down towards the front of the of the device as you look at it, and you have a physical volume up, volume down button. Again, right in the front edge of the machine, we have a lock button. And this is a very important uh, piece of information because when these uh, devices are being shipped, the default is for the keys to be locked. So you can have a switch lock here at the right in the very front of the uh, Braille Sense Polaris and you flick it left which locks the keys on the device but obviously if it's locked you just flick it to the right and it frees the keys and it allows you as a Braille Note user, as a Braille Note user, Braille Note Taker user to uh, control the device. Again we have a conventional QWERTY keyboard on the device so we have dots one, two, three up to or right on the base as you're looking down on the machine. We've dots one, two, three, and four, five, six, the conventional Perkins Braille dots. We have dot seven, which is just to the left of dot three, which I suppose for all intents and purposes doubles as the backspace, but combined with other keys, other keys will form part of a certain keystroke, for example, um, backspace and function key uh, two will switch the voice off on the uh, Braille Sense Polaris. Again, we have uh, dot eight, which is just to the right of dot six. And again, for the most part, that doubles as the enter key. So dot eight features as the enter key, but it also, in combination with other keystrokes, will form certain uh, key combinations. So for example, enter and N generally doubles as the new control or the new hotkey. So for example, if you're an email, enter and the letter N will start a new email. Okay, just down below, between dots one and four, we have the space bar, which again is located on a, where the space bar would be located on a conventional Perkins keyboard. To the left of the space bar, we have a new feature on the Braille Sense Polaris. It's a new button, which basically allows you to go backwards through your key, your, your various uh, key m m menu options. We have a button to the right, which again, really gives you the, the option to go right to your uh, various menu options. So it'll bring from the file manager to the word processor to the note taker. Down under these three buttons are slightly to the left, 
we have the first two function keys. We have function one and function two. And to the right and slightly under, we have functions three and functions four. Now again, function one, for all intents and purposes, is the start key. That brings up the window, that, that brings up your uh, main menu. So when you press um, function one, F function key one, that brings up you know, you have your file manager, your word processor, etc. Function two serves as the menu button from within a menu, from within an, an application. So if you're in the word processor, for example, and you press F2, it brings up the menus from within the word processor. Similarly, if you're in Notetaker or if you're in the Notepad, it brings up the, the menus from within the Notepad. Function three, which again is just F3, it's just to the right of uh, of the um, of the spacebar and slightly under. That doubles as the tab key. So if you press the, this uh, F3 on its own, it serves as the tab button. And again, if you hit F3 and spacebar together, it serves as a shift tab button to give you a Windows analogy. F4 doubles as the escape button. So it's the escape button, it's the conventional escape button. So if you're in a menu structure and you wish to leave, just press F4 and that escapes the menu. And again, as I've already illustrated, if you press any of these function keys, function F1 to F4 in combination with another keystroke, then that will carry out a, a separate uh, keyboard shortcut function. So, for example, if you do backspace, if you do save dot seven or backspace and F3, it toggles the Braille feature on or off. And again, obviously, one of the main buttons on any of these devices is, is the on-off button. And the on-off button is just right to the front of the device, at the very right. Just holding that button, it's a little click, it's a little click button. You hold it in for about one second. You'll hear and you will feel the braille coming up on the braille device. The, the initial prompt will be hymns, and then you will feel the braille changing to starting. Braille says Polaris, and then you will hear a welcome to the Braille Sense sound, which is the indication for you that your Braille note taker, the Braille Sense Polaris, is ready to go. So thank you for looking at our video. For more information, you can always go to our website at www.ncbi.ie. You can follow us on Twitter or Facebook. You can always check out our YouTube channels, or you can always just send us an email to labs at ncbi.ie and we guarantee we will follow up on your inquiry.